This is Xue Hang. Welcome to the Cam channel. For a supercapacitor, we should improve the energy density and the power density to expand the application. At the same time, the operation temperature window should also be extended. So today, we will talk about the choices of the electric light for low temperature supercapacitor operations. Here is a chart showing the operation temperature window for some applications. For example, near the engine of a car, a supercapacitor must endure temperature range from negative 55 to 250 degrees C. Space exploration needs power supply for nighttime and peak operations, so the space exploration requires very low temperature to negative 80 degrees C. Also for portable personal devices, consumers would like the device to be more durable to extreme weathers below 0 degrees C to negative 20 degrees C. We can expect a lower capacitance of supercapacitor at low temperature because the ion transport is limited. No matter how bad the performance would be at low temperature, the electrolyte should at least be still flowable. The ion still needs to be able to diffuse in the bulk electrolyte at low temperature. For the aqueous electrolyte, it means we are using water as the solvent. The application of the electrolyte is limited by the melting point of the solvent water. Additionally, the electrochemical voltage window of aqueous electrolyte is also limited due to the decomposition voltage of water at 1.3 volt. So for low temperature operations, aqueous electrolyte is not an ideal electrolyte of choice. On the other side, organic solvents with a variety of choices of melting points and electrochemical stability is more favorable for offering larger voltage window and lower temperature operations. The most commonly used solvent is acetyl nitrile with TEABF4 as salt. The acetyl nitrile based organic electrolyte can be operated with a voltage window of 2.7 volt and a temperature down to negative 40 degrees C. But the low boiling point of acetyl nitrile limits the maximum operation temperature to 70 degrees C. Also, due to its toxic and low fresh point at 5 degrees C, there is some safety concern when using acetyl nitrile as solvent. Replacement of acetyl nitrile with propylene carbonate PC is a little safer. Also offer similar melting point at about negative 50 degrees C. However, the propylene carbonate shows lower ionic conductivity, which limits the power performance of PC-based electrolyte. And here is a more clear comparison between water, PC, and acetyl nitrile. Aqueous electrolyte usually have higher capacitance but cannot be operated at low temperature, below 20 degrees C here for 3 molar sulfuric acid in water. Acetyl nitrile and propylene carbonate can both be operated at negative 40 degrees C, but PC suffer a faster degradation of the capacitance at lower temperature, demonstrating the importance of ionic conductivity of the electrolyte to the low temperature performance. The use of cold solvent or solvent mixture can further reduce the mounting point. Operation temperature below negative 60 degrees C has been observed by using carbon electrode in acetyl nitrile TEABF4 mixed with various proportions of cold solvents with low melting point. Especially for a compressed of a 3 to 1 acetyl nitrile 1,3-dioxoline blends, it was found that the electrolyte allows charge and discharge at a temperature as low as negative 75 degrees C, but the capacitance reduced to about half of its room temperature value. By tailoring the nature of the cold solvents and the concentration of the salt used, the resistance can be minimized as well. There is another promising electrolyte for low temperature operations, the ionic liquid. Ionic liquids are low temperature molten salt, that is, liquids composed of bare ions. The low melting point of ionic liquids is due to the combination between a large cation and a charged delocalized anion. By selecting cation and anion combination with weaker interactions, ionic liquid with melting point lower than 100 to 150 degrees C are called room temperature ionic liquid. 
And here is the typical selections of uh, the cations and anions for room temperature ionic liquids. With beer ions, Ionic liquid usually has a very good electrochemical stability and can be operated at large voltage window, up to 4.5 to 6 volt in our supercapacitor. But ionic liquid usually has a very low conductivity, so the ion diffusion resistance is usually large. Adding solvents into the ionic liquid is one way to reduce resistance. But the ionic liquid is not an ionic liquid again. It should be considered as an organic electrolyte. And the electrochemical stability is again limited by the solvent. However, it is very hard to find a cation anion pair with a very low melting point. So in order to decrease the melting point, the option is to make ionic liquid mixture. So for here, PIP13 FSI has a melting point of 6 degrees C, and PYR14 PFSI has a melting point of negative 18 degrees C. And when mixing these two ionic liquids, the melting point decreases to negative 80 degrees C. Why the melting point become lower when mixing two ionic liquids together? That is because our selection of proper combination of cation with the same anion prevents an ordered arrangement and the crystallization thereby inhabiting the formation of lattice. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.